Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to explain an American action and thriller movie titled The Mother. There will be spoilers ahead. In this movie, a mother and an FBI agent wage a two-man war against a crime ring after her daughter is abducted. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. The film begins in an FBI safe house in Linton, Indiana. An FBI officer named William Cruz interviews a female informant about former Marine Adrian Lovell and arms dealer Hector Alvarez. The informant, known only by the code name The Mother, refuses to give up information about the two men unless she is in a secure location. Agent William assures her she is safe, despite the impatience of his partner. The mother reveals that she arranged an arms smuggling deal between Adrian and Hector, who sold deadly weapons and ammunition. The mother still believes she is since Hector is in Cuba and Adrian is under FBI surveillance, the mother warns them that Adrian is very dangerous and unpredictable and insists they move to another location. Cruz's partner loses his patience and yells at the mother. Suddenly, an unknown assailant snipes Cruz's partner and the rest of the FBI team stationed around the safe house. Cruz becomes convinced that the mother is Cruz attempts to sneak the mother to safety, but the unknown assailant shoots him in the chest, wounding him. The mother is forced to tend to his wounds. After patching up his wound, the mother makes a makeshift time-delayed bomb and hides in the restroom. Shortly after, the unknown assailant walks into the house and is revealed to be Adrian. Adrian finds her and discovers she is pregnant. He stabs her in her swollen stomach, causing her pain. Soon, her makeshift bomb explodes, supposedly killing Adrian. Hours later, the mother gives birth to a girl prematurely in a hospital. After her delivery, the mother asks to see her daughter. Still, Eleanor Williams, a special agent in charge, notifies her that Adrian's body is missing and that her newborn daughter will be protected by being placed with a foster family since her life is still in danger. The mother is not happy with the arrangement but reluctantly signs off on her parental rights because she realizes the child will never be safe in her care. Before she leaves the hospital. The mother visits the recovering Cruz in his ward and sets three requirements for him. The child will lead a normal life, the mother will receive a photo on each birthday, and Cruz must call the mother if she is in danger. After that, the mother visits her child one last time and painfully denies her baby when another parent asks if the child is hers. The mother then leaves for Alaska, living alone in a remote Alaskan cabin. Twelve years later, the mother receives a letter from Cruz through her friend, a former army comrade, Jones. Jones thinks it is the mother's daughter's birthday, but the mother reveals it is not her birthday. She opens the mail and finds a plane ticket to Ohio. The mother realizes something is not right and prepares to travel to Ohio. The following day, the mother secretly arrives in Ohio, wearing a disguise. She soon meets with Cruz, who reveals that a photo of her daughter was discovered when the police apprehended some of Alvarez's men at a stash house in Mexico. Cruz wants her to identify the men. The mother then asks to know her daughter's name, and Cruz reveals her name is Zoe. They soon stop by her school, and the mother watches her from afar. Zoe's adopted mother arrives to pick her up, and the mother becomes sad. She was not happy about someone else looking after her daughter. That night, the mother watched Zoe and her foster family. The next day, the mother watches Zoe play at a park. Suddenly, two minivans arrive full of armed men. The mother suspects they are Alvarez's men and shoots several of them, protecting Zoe. However, despite her efforts, Zoe is abducted by Alvarez's men. Alvarez's top lieutenant, Yanel, also known as Tarantula, discovers where the mother is positioned and orders one of his henchmen to go after her. The mother hides in the parking lot and rams into the henchman with a truck. Before she can get away, police cars swarm the surrounding area, forcing her to jump out of the building. She soon regroups with Cruz, who arrives to pick her up. The mother is furious that Cruz and the FBI did not have a team watching her daughter. Cruz apologizes and explains that it was an oversight on their part. In the car, the duo argues about what to do next. Although the mother thinks Zoe was kidnapped to tempt her out of hiding, Cruz believes Zoe's kidnapping was done for ransom. Cruz and the mother, disguised as an FBI agent, visited Zoe's foster parents that night. They then traveled to Havana, disguised as a couple, to learn more about Zoe's whereabouts. The duo spots Tarantula and chases him around the city. The mother chases him on a motorcycle, but Tarantula evades capture. The mother then decides to continue pursuing him in a car she commandeers from a civilian. Unfortunately for Tarantula, the mother catches up to him this time and runs him down, wounding him. They capture Tarantula, and the mother tortures and interrogates him secretly. Tarantula initially refuses to talk, but after the mother mercilessly batters him for Zoe's location, he reveals she is being held at Alvarez's home on the plantation. Before they leave, the mother kills Tarantula. That night, 
Cruz and the mother recuperate, and Cruz asks why she saved his life 12 years earlier. The mother tells him that she saved him because he looked out for her and her baby at the safe house. According to her, he is a man worth keeping. His curiosity is piqued, and he asks how she got involved with Alvarez and Adrian. The mother explains that her relationship with Adrian began in Afghanistan, where she trained with his sniper unit. She was the best sniper in the unit, prompting Adrian's interest in her. When Adrian offered to employ the mother as an arms dealer in his criminal affairs with an Uzbek warlord, she refused. The mother wanted to bring something to the table too. After an 18-month tour, the mother finally found her retirement plan in Alvarez, where she studied while manning a guard tower. Alvarez was smuggling guns, and the mother realized she could link up Adrian and Alvarez. Along the way, she got romantically involved with both of them and got pregnant. However, the mother suspected foul play in their relationship when she noticed Adrian and Alvarez had become secretive. Sadly, she discovered they were involved in child trafficking. The mother then decided to be an informant for the FBI. In the present, the mother and crew break into Alvarez's house, and the mother successfully gets Zoe out. The mother then kills Alvarez, who wanted revenge. Before she kills him, Alvarez asks if Zoe is his child, but she tells him no. When Zoe is safe, the mother decides to leave Cruz and allow him to take Zoe back to her foster parents. However, Zoe suspects that the mother is her real mother. Before the mother leaves them, Zoe asks if the mother is her birth mother, but she painfully denies it. Both mother and child say an emotional farewell as they part ways. On the way back to Ohio, Cruz and Zoe are ambushed by Adrian and his men. Suddenly, the mother arrives and escapes with Zoe, prompting Adrian to kill Cruz out of rage. The mother then contacts Zoe's foster mother and assures her she will bring Zoe home safely. She also disposes of Zoe's phone to prevent her from being tracked. The mother then brings Zoe to the cabin after realizing she won't be safe at home. She gradually teaches Zoe some survival skills. She teaches her how to defend herself and how to drive. They begin to get along, and Zoe asks why she won't admit she is her mother. The mother tells her the truth is difficult, but she promises to always look after her. After a gun accident, Zoe uses her real name when her mother takes her for treatment. The mother then becomes worried that Adrian will find them and chooses to leave Zoe with Jones. As the mother leaves, Zoe, feeling sad, tells her she hates her and cries. Zoe didn't want her mother to leave her. However, that was the only way she could be safe. When Zoe is with Jones, she feels dejected that her mother has abandoned her once more, and he advises her to judge her mother by her deeds rather than her words. Zoe searches through Jones's items and finds a letter from her mother explaining that everything she has ever done has been for her. Meanwhile, Adrian and his army had found the mother. She arms herself and prepares to stop Adrian for good this time. After discovering the letter, Zoe returns to the cabin and helps the mother fend off the attackers. She leaves in Jones's truck. Before confronting Adrian, the mother eliminates all his men. Meanwhile, the truck gets stuck in the ice, and Zoe is forced to continue on foot. As mother and child are reunited, the two are engaged in a final confrontation with Adrian, who has a sniper in Zoe's head. He asks the mother to surrender, and she does. Adrian and the mother engage in a brutal fistfight. However, trying to save her mother, Zoe accidentally shoots her. The wounded Adrian then grabs Zoe and tries to flee while the mother is unconscious. When the mother regains consciousness, she attempts to shoot Adrian, but her wounded arm causes her to miss her target. The mother starts to cry, believing she has lost Zoe, but she doesn't realize she is Adrian. Zoe arrives while she is in agony. The mother is happy to see her, and they share a warm embrace. Some days later, the mother gives Zoe back to her adoptive family. Zoe tells the mother she loves her and returns to her family. Since she no longer needs to hide, she stands back and watches Zoe from a distance. Let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below, and if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Please support me with that like button and subscribing if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out and will give you all future video release updates. As always, thank you so much for watching, stay safe and God bless.